Welcome back to the show, everybody. Thanks for joining in. This is a really fun one. We thought we'd have some fun ones coming up. We've been so serious and scientific lately. I told Ashley, let's loosen up. Can I get some TikTok finds and beauty finds? And yeah, <laughs> I feel like we've been in, in school. school? <laughs> let's, let's have some. I need my brain needs a break. We're still going to continue our healthy swaps. And it's hard to find crackers. You're a quacker. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I know. I'm a quacker. I'm silly. But let me tell you something. When we, so we've been working on our cookbook behind the scenes. And by the way, Lindsay's obsessed with crackers. I mean, you're always talking about, "Mm, this would be perfect if we had a cracker with it. I'm like, oh my God, you love a cracker. I love a cracker too. And I love a crunch. So I'm just giving you a hard time. Okay. But this is a thing. This is thing. Look on the back of your box and you are going to be shocked at the oils that are in there. You're, it's going to be really hard for you to find the avocado oil. They're always going to have the seed oils in there. Canola oil or some type of seed, sunflower oil, some type of seed oil. Yeah, you know, you're right. It's sunflower oil is huge. Oh. Even my beloved Simple Mills, I turned over the box. I go, I'm so upset with you, Simple Mills. You have sunflower oil in here. I'm so mad at you. <laughs> so, you know, it must be cheap. That's why they're doing it. It must be cheap. It's cheap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, or it's just harder to get the consistency of the product that they need. But I did a lot of research and I did find a few crackers without the seed oils because you need a good crunch with your your salads and your soups and whatever. Sometimes you don't want chips. You want just a few crackers. They're called flaggers. Yes, I know, Lindsay. You're you're, You're waiting for a reaction and I'm like... I know. That's true. I forget you have the show notes right in front of you. (laughs) I've also tried them and they're delicious. We had them the other day as we were testing out one of our recipes and Lindsay was like, you want a flacker? (laughs) (laughs) Let me go over the ingredients. Organic flaxseed, organic apple cider, and sea salt. That's it, folks. That's it. That's what your cracker should be. And it was cleanest ingredients I've ever seen. And it was good and it had a really good crunch. Yeah. And you now it does taste healthy, but your cracker should taste. You shouldn't be like, mm, this is so sweet and this is delicious. You know what I mean? We have all It shouldn't our... melt in your mouth. How about that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? The other crackers, I'm not going to lie. The chemical crackers that are so freaking delicious. Yeah. Give me a Parmesan ranch one any day. It's delicious. <laughs> they melt in your mouth. They turn to gummy. And I'm like, mm, yum. There's addictive chemicals. Yeah, you know organic flaxseed, apple cider vinegar, and sea salt is. You're not going to be like... No, you got to swallow these puppies. I like them, though. I think they're good. But I have, I think, three options in our Shop My under our Healthy Swaps to See. So what I mean by that is it's in our show notes. So first of all, just click on the link. That's the easiest way. But you can also go to lindsayholder.com, and we have a shop section, and... You can see that. By the way, I just want to let you know, I always talk about sweet little Ellison, but Ellison is growing. He is growing so fast. Mama is still up every three hours. So I've had three hours and three hours and three hours. Like I am, but I'm okay. I'm doing good. Yeah. Hey, he's four months. That's typical. Woo! No, he's almost five. He's almost five next week. It'll change once he gets, um, once he's able to eat a little yeah. food. Yeah. But what I do, I look at, stuff to put in for the podcast. Like I use my, I just want to tell this there, but I use my time wisely when I'm at the gym or I'm feeding him or whatever and stuff, you know, I look up do I just like this show. I looked up do it yourself beauty. I looked at the TikTok show is really fun. Okay, Ashley, I'm getting that those glossy eyed looks like move on. Yeah, I'm like, I just want you to know, I don't care about your schedule. I don't think anybody else does either. I can go into when I floss my teeth and how that's magical. I mean, silly. Anyways. Oh, I just want to say follow us at because Ashley doesn't really do social. She just posts all the work that I do. But (laughs) (laughs) oh, burn, burn. But go to Lindsay R. Holder on Instagram, and I'm going to do a a DIY beauty. I'll have a post there so you can see one of these that I'm going to make. I would just like everybody to know that that is not by choice. I was doing social and Lindsay. Oh, you're terrible. Lindsay and I got in a fight. Lindsay was like, stop it. Don't post anything. (laughs) 
I was like, it was terrible fine. because you were doing like it was odd what you were doing. You were doing like chalk on the whatever. It's creative. Chalk on the driveway, like smile writing and talk. No one wants to see that. <laughs> Shut up, Lindsay. Stop. Okay. Anyways, first DIY beauty. We did have an episode on castor oil, and I just want to let you know that I bought a cloth for my liver. I just popped one off from Amazon. So what you do is you cover it in oil and put it on the right side underneath your rib cage for your liver. This is a liver detox. Then what you do is once you do that, then you put a heating pad or a hot water bottle over it to stimulate the liver. I also put this, Lindsay and I mentioned it, we also put it in our belly button. But what I do is this is what I do for my nightly routine for my legs. So they're dry and I also want to get the circulation moving to help with my cellulite. So I do a mixture of grapeseed oil and castor oil and I apply the grapeseed oil all over my legs, my arms, my abdomen and my hands and then I add castor oil to it. And that combination seems to work really well. Then I massage it all over my body. So that's something that I've experimented with it because if I just use straight castor oil, it's really sticky. Oh, and it goes through your clothes. It stains your clothes. Yes. Yes. So if you have a certain pair of pajamas that you just love, you know, maybe not wear those. The next one is a fun one is if you have, you know, you use loose powder for your makeup, the loose mineral powders for your makeup. I love this one. It always comes with the tab over it, the seal on it. So instead of pulling that seal off, poke six holes with a pin then the powder is going to come out in a manageable quantity because I don't know about you, but whenever I pull that seal off and I've got the loose powder, it just all like falls all over my countertops, all over the place. I just waste so much product and it makes a big fat mess. That was a great one. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then that way you're keeping it all together. Yeah. Because if you buy loose powder, that's mineral makeup, that stuff's expensive. And then you just try to get some and it falls all over the place. And I'm like, no. And you don't need that much. I feel like you don't need that much of mineral powder because a little bit really does go a long way. Yeah. And half mine is literally on the counter. And then it's just, you know, it's just a big disaster. I don't know about you, Lindsay, but since I have been going through my hormonal fluctuations and perimenopause, my hair, did you just say word? I said, oh, my word. Oh, I thought you go word, word. I'm like, okay, dog. Oh, I just want to, by the way, we're going to a book signing for, I'm not, I can't remember her name. What was her name, Ashley? Dr. Somebody. <laughs> Great. You're, you're in charge of the event. What is it called? Dr. I mean, not in the event, but us going, as far as going, facilitating. I am not in charge of the event. I am going to the event. It is, I put it, here's how I'm going to get out of this one. All right. If you go back and listen to or even just look up our last, one of our podcasts was talking about hormone and perimenopausal hormone stuff. I haven't linked in the sh show notes. So that person's linked in the show notes. But we are going to her book signing, which is next week. And she's going to give a lecture about hormones. And I am actually very excited to go meet her. And you, are you going to ask her a question? You said you're going to ask a question. We, what is your technique here? Here's my secret technique. So she's getting up. She is not going to be asking questions. She is getting up there. She is doing a lecture and then she is going to go to the table and sign her book. Oh, there's so, no question and answer portion. You're creating your own. <laughs> there's no Q&A. I'm creating my own. So what I'm going to do is when I'm in line and I'm asking her to sign my book, I'm going to ask a little quick super complicated question. <laughs> what is your, do you have your question? I have a bunch of questions, so I have not narrowed it down and I'm going to see if I can narrow it down. But basically my question is this right now, because I'm in perimenopause, my estrogen is crazy. It is up one day and down the next day. And I cannot take the patch right now, I tried the patch, but it was just too much for me. It made me dizzy and all this stuff because my body's still producing estrogen. I am on progesterone and testosterone, which is working wonderfully with my body, but the estrogen is just 
whoo, that threw me out for a loop. So if you, I just want to let you know, if you ever have an instance with your hormones and because I had an instance and I could not find information out there, I was dizzy and my blood pressure went up and nobody knew what was going on. Well, I had to dive and research and I took the patch off and it took about a week for my body to settle back down. But why I took the, put the patch on in the first place was I was literally getting 10 to 12 hot flashes a day in the middle of the night. I wasn't sleeping. It was really tough. And I did a saliva test and it showed that my cortisol levels were extremely high and my estrogen levels were really high. So my whole point in telling you this is the perimenopause state is actually harder than the menopausal state because you still do have some hormones and it's tricky to get them all balanced. So I just want to leave you with that. If you're having a hard time, you're not alone. I'm right there with you. And it's going to be a constant battle of how to manage this. And it may, you may decide that you don't want to do hormones. You want to do some tea. I don't know. And it's a constant battle for those with you, you know, and I'm not trying to be, well, mm -hmm. it is a little funny, but I do want to, you know, if you're around people that are going through this, I'm with you. I understand you're constantly dealing with that person's unlevel hormones. You're like, I don't know who I'm going to get today. So I feel you. I just want to remind sweet little Lindsay over here that she's only two years younger than me and she will be going through this too. So I'm going to be dealing with the same thing with you. I'm going to crush it. I'm going to, like I always say, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> I told her that before I had a baby and I said, I'm going to shit and then I'm having to eat my words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I won't go into it with all the ways that she's eating it. All right. Your next hack, I'm actually going to try. Okay. So anyways, my whole point before getting on this is that because I'm going through all these hormone changes, my hair is so oily. It's just crazy how oily it is. So I like a dry shampoo and there's, that's interesting. It's oily just at the scalp or the whole thing's oily? It's my whole scalp's oily. It's like I just poured, you know what it's like? It's like I poured this cellulite oil on my head. <laughs> the castor oil? Boy, that's The thick. castor oil and the grapeseed oil. That's what it feels like on my head. It's just. How often do you wash your hair? How many times a week? I force myself not. I want to wash it every day, twice a day, but I force myself not to because it, that's not good for your hair. Not twice a day, no. Or not even every day. You're not supposed to. That's bad for your hair. So I wash it three times a week. Yeah, that's about how much I wash mine. But my hair's oily. I, it's annoying. Anyways, this is what you can do for dark hair. Get one part baking soda to four parts. Actually, we talked about this. Like, this is a conversation. And we've had multiple conversations about this conversation. I am able to talk to you and insert... And that's what I am going to interrupt you. <laughs> I don't like being interrupted. You know what I think it boils down to? I am interrupted all day long. My children, my husband, my dog. So we need to go to talk to somebody about this because I'm... Or I could just do a solo episode and then I'll just talk the whole time. No, we tried that. It, it, and then I'm like, I can't listen to you just by yourself. Excuse you. Sorry. Anyways. Because it's just a, it's just a list. <laughs> Without any humor, any whatever, I'm like, I need to just record a solo episode before we get on and then just not let it go live so I can just get everything out. Nobody wants to hear a solo episode from your pre-menopausal <laughs> self. No, thank you. Excuse you. All right, Lindsay, tell me, what'd you want to say? Well, I forgot now, but go ahead. <laughs> okay. It's homemade dry shampoo. It's one part baking soda to four parts cornstarch. And then if you have dark hair, like Lindsay and I do, you can do a teaspoon of cocoa powder to give you the color. And if you don't have dark hair, just that's where you stop. Then you just skip the cocoa powder and just do the one part baking soda, four parts cornstarch. And then you just put in a bowl and mix. And then you get a makeup brush and you just put it all over your scalp. Or, or the areas that you need. Yes. And it's going to be great for, I almost was like, that's so funny. So I almost said, shut up. I'm still talking. <laughs> you know what? Let me just say this. And I want to let you know something. Mom's here. So after the podcast, my mom come in here and we're going to, she's going to be our mediator. And I'm going to tell mom. <laughs> oh, you're going to tell mom on me. 
That's yeah, fine. I'm going to tell mom. I'll just hang up. Mom's like, you girls are almost 50. Y'all work it out. <laughs> oh, I know. Mom doesn't get it. Mom doesn't get into our mess. And neither do our husbands. And neither do anybody that we work with. They just look down when we start talking. Have you noticed that? They all look down or they'll look up at the ceiling. My babysitter came in and she, Ashley and I, Ashley came over and, ooh, Ashley was a hot mess. And Ashley was just like on fire. Rah, 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 rah. And at first my babysitter was like, wow y'all really go at it and then then i noticed she she's like oh okay i've tuned y'all out now i'm just ignoring it i go yeah it's best to just do that it's great for oily hair and it's also going to give you some volume but what you need to do before you start brushing your hair and stuff is wait about five to ten minutes so it can soak all the oil up oh yeah and then i thought this was a really cool tip to get rid of the powder just use a blow dryer after 10 minutes isn't that cool oh okay just kind of toss a little around. Yeah. Yeah. So basically the baking soda and the cornstarch is soaking up all that extra grease. I think that's great. I want to really try that. So on the my scalp, it does that a little bit too. Actually, I feel like, so I use a scalp serum, like a growth serum, and I feel like it makes my hair a little bit oily, uh-huh. the growth serum. So I want to put, I want to just kind of sometimes put that cornstarch powder on it. I will say because of that growth serum on our scalp that both you and I are using, my hair is so long that I have got to get it cut and I don't have time to get it cut. I do not have time to get it cut, but I am trying to I'm looking at it right now. You need a shape girl. I do. It, even my husband who he doesn't care. This is why we can't do you you dying for us to do YouTube. It's coming soon, but you got to get ready. I will get ready. Lindsay, I can make my hair look good if I want to. Yeah. Not today. <laughs> Here I am talking and I'm still in my pajamas. I barely got up. Yeah, I'm like, excuse me with your bunny ears. Unless he's got some bunny ear head piece on, like, (laughs) bite me. (laughs) This is, it does not like bunny ears, but it's actually a bow. But it does. Yeah, well, it does not look like a bow. I know. Jeff saw it. My husband's always like, you wearing that again? I'm like, yep, because it's cute. (laughs) This is one of my favorite devices that I talk about, (laughs) I think, in almost every episode. It is the droplet. We are an official partner with the droplet. So excited. And it has made such a difference on my skin. It's one of the few things that I was able to use when I was pregnant. I loved the hydrofiller, the collagen hydrofiller capsules. And I'm also really excited to try out, I'm adding now the retinol renewer and the 17 volt lip plumber to my routine. Yes, please. Let's plump these lips up. <laughs> but it is so easy to use. So if you want to use code LaPreeBeauty20 for 20% off, just head to lindsayholder.com backslash droplet and you will get your code to work for the device. It's so like, I can't tell you how easy to use. All you do is drop in the capsule of your choice and just turn the device on. It has like this micro mist that you can put all over your face. It just takes about three minutes. I bring it down to my neck and my chest and for, especially for the hydrofiller, if there's like a line that I'm working on, I really like get it in there, <laughs> get that line filled up and it makes the biggest difference. You can mix and match the capsules as well as drop it offers a personalized routine by their team, which is awesome to meet your skincare needs. So you can mix and match the retinol, the hydrofiller. They have so many other things that you can do. And if you want to see me in action with this device, I do have some videos on this on my Instagram. It's Lindsay R. Holder, L-I-N-D-S-E-Y R. Holder on Instagram. They do have a subscription model, which I prefer. I like that one because you can just set it and forget it. You don't have to worry about it because you're going to need your capsules every month. So there's no point in just ordering them each month unless you are changing your capsules. But you can do that on the subscription basis too. For how I use it, I like it in my night routine. And again, it just takes about three minutes. It's just so easy at night. It's the first thing I do after I take the shower. But here's a hot tip. If you have something that day that you want to look just like amazing for, it can be something simple like a lunch with girlfriends you haven't seen in a while. Or if you have like a speaking or an event or pictures or whatever, then use the droplet also during the day and use the hydrogen, the collagen hydrofiller. It just gives you this nice plump, extra plump look and this feeling that 
oh, you just feel amazing afterwards. Put it over your lips. It really makes a difference. Then you can put your regular skincare products on after that. So again, head to lindsayholder.com backslash droplet. And that's D-R-O-P-L-E-T-T-E. Use code LaPree Beauty 20 for 20% off today. Enjoy. Okay. So speaking of baking soda, baking soda is like the magic crystal stuff or whatever. I don't know what you call it, but you can use baking soda for so many things, cleaning, laundry, and now in, in beauty stuff. So I think this tip's really cool. Sometimes I always come in the situation where you're end of your toothpaste. And you're like, man, I just have a little bit more. I don't have time to go to the store. Have you ever had that? You don't have a backup. Oh, yes. Yes. Don't you hate that? I don't have it on subscription. I just get it when I get it. So sometimes I just need an alternative. You can use baking soda. Okay. It's gritty. It's abrasive, like toothpaste. I saw a recipe that showed you can dissolve baking soda, a small amount of salt, a few drops of white vinegar, and water. And then you dip the toothpaste in the mixture. Oh, and we all usually have all those items around our house. I have all those ingredients. Yeah, always. especially if you're more natural, you're usually going to have white vinegar on hand for because you clean our vegetables in it. And then you can also use baking soda as a body exfoliant. So if you are out of your exfoliant, you can grab some. That is neat. I did not know about that. That is so cool. Now, I would use this as a alternative when I'm out of my exfoliant because I'm bougie and I like a good a nice exfoliant or oh me too you know I, I like a spa session i'm not trying to diy it all over the place i like nice things yeah you're like i don't want my exfoliant baking soda and vinegar like that makes me sad and that makes me sad but I'll, I'll use it to get through to the next yeah i am not your diy beauty girl i mean we're doing this fun episode to for fun stuff but most stuff i'm like oh where can i buy it <laughs> uh yeah me too if you have a razor cut, you can use organic chapstick. You can put that. Shut yeah, up. Yeah, it'll prevent further bleeding and soothe the wound. I found that and I thought, and the reason why I said organic is because a lot of chapstick has petroleum in it and I don't want to put that and stop a wound for that petroleum in it. So make sure it's organic. So it's the binders or using something else, another, like a safe wax to put. Yeah, that's what, yeah. So just FYI. And again, I wouldn't just put it from the chap you know like roll it and put it on i would get a q-tip and pull a little bit of it off and then apply it to your skin okay we don't want it in the we don't want to put it on our razor cut and then mm, my lips are dry too <laughs> put it on our lips. we don't want to do that if you're out of your lip scrub another thing now this does happen to me i'm out of my beloved laneige lip scrub or there's another one that i sarah hap i love too if i love their oh her brown sugar Oh, brown sugar. brown sugar. I was about to say, I know the brown sugar. I love that one. So sometimes, you know, when I'm out, I'm in a pinch and I do need my lip scrub. So very easy. We've all heard of this. Just a kind of reminder. You can combine olive oil or even avocado oil. I would try avocado oil and sugar. And let's do a nice coconut sugar or a monk fruit sweetener. We can do that and mix it. So think of it because I want to do that today because I'm out of my lip scrub too. I think I'll do that too. These are things I would like to do today. I need to do. I'm actually going to the chiropractor because I've, this is so embarrassing. I've got some major hip problems right now because since school started, I am falling apart. I am in the car from 2.30, no lie y'all, from 2.30 to 6. Tell me you can relate. It is unbelievable. So my hips are killing me. So I'm going to the chiropractor today. And of course, my hair's oily. So I'm going to do the cornstarch trick. And I'm going to do the lip scrub. Let's, those are, you know why? Because they are easy to do. Yeah, easy. They're easy. After you do the lip scrub, and I don't know if you've heard of us talk about this, but there's two things you could do. You could use the droplet, their lip volume treatment. That's really good. It's a capsule. I think I forgot, 17 volt lip. I think it was what it's called. I actually just did a video. It's coming in our um, new. Oh, hold on. I can't wait to tell you. It's coming in our new membership. In fact, I am signing the app papers right after this podcast. I'm so flipping excited. So what does that mean? 
We have a community right now. If you go to lindsayholder.com and join and go ahead and join there because we're going to let all the members know when the app is and probably give them a special. We'll give them something in there. And then what's going to happen is we are getting our own white labeled app, which means you could find it's um, our community is called La Pre Beauty. It's not a community. I think you're it's a membership, which stands for sorry, I got off track because I got reprimanded. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? It's not a monologue, Lindsay. See, no, see, you didn't interrupt. See? You just rude. <laughs> you just, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm rude. I get you. And, mm-hmm. and I'm fabulous. That's the way that's the way it is. But the pre beauty stands for lasting beauty, everyday beauty, present day beauty. So lasting everyday, present day beauty. So you'll be able to see our cute little logo in the app store. I'm so excited. And just download. Are you not just ecstatic, Ashley? Two. It's just been over a year. No, longer than that. Feels like 10, but two years. It's been two yeah, years. Yeah, I think one and a half to two. Yeah, it's been a long time. Lindsay's been doing videos, all these new videos going in there. Oh my gosh. I have been doing so many videos and I edit them. And there's two videos that I'm doing. There's one are product reviews. So I'm taking products that I use and that are sent to us. It's a combination. And I tell you exactly my thoughts on the product how to use it, tips and tricks. You said the other day you watched a video and you thought you knew how to use it. And then you saw my video, you go, oh my gosh, I did not know this and this and this. Oh, it was incredible. I didn't know you were doing uh, one about uh, the droplet. And and I learned like four different things from it. And hello, I'm a droplet connoisseur. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that. And there was another one that you did something. And I was like, holy cow, I've been doing it wrong. Like it's crazy how... Your tips and your little finesses are so important. And it's because as an esthetician, that's all I did. You know, so I, if you don't know what I did, I have been an esthetician for 13 years and I owned a spa. So obviously I had to try out new devices, new products, and you just develop the skill over the years of how to use it, what works, how it's going to lay on the skin What's the best way to use this beauty tool? How long to use it? How to fit it into your routine? There are so many little things. What you should do to prep your skin, what you should not do before you use this treatment or this device or this product. So that's really exciting to be able to share all my knowledge. And I want to tell you, I love, we. you can DM us in our membership. Uh, you just go to lindsayholder.com and join. And I, we send you a question and says, you know, Hey, how can we help you with your, or what skincare question you have? And it is so exciting to see all the responses that we get. And then I'm able to turn that into a podcast and help other people. I just love it. It's really cool. But anyway, we will do a whole episode about our app coming up. And this is what we do for a living. I'm so excited. All right. I'm getting eyes from Ashley. So I'm gonna move on. So the miracle cream no, you didn't say it to use after the lip scrub. That'd be a great time to use the droplet lip volumizing treatment or the R self lip filler because your lips are, they're like already ready to absorb the ingredients. And I will say the, um, the droplet treatment like that, you know, you got to get out the droplet and stuff and it works. But if you're like, I don't even have time for that because you're in just such a pinch. I love the R self lip filler. That thing works. You just glide it on your lip. It's really cool. I like the droplet lip volume after you've exfoliated your lips because you're just like getting all that dead skin cells off. But it's really cool the after picture that I put in the app of my lips done. I mean, you're like, I'm going to do the volumizing lip treatment today. I'm going to go into my chiropractor's office with fresh hair and big lips. No, you're not because you have to be there at 12 and it's 1043 and we have a meeting after this. So you're just going to go in there with your greasy hair and your dry lips. (laughs) This next one is really fun and special to me. It's called the miracle cream. I learned about this when I owned a spa, I had a doTERRA event. I learned a lot about that event. I had the doTERRA um, rep that, cause I used to sell doTERRA inside this or Well, we used it inside the spa. So we would have an event to show other of our clients on how to work with essential oils. And then we made items to take home. But this one that we made, I still use to this day. It's beside my bed. I love it. This stuff works and it's called miracle cream for a reason. We are going to have this little recipe 
on our blog for you, but it's super easy. Get a cute little jar. I have a cute little glass jar and then use half a cup. First, mix it all together and then put it in your jar to store. But you do half a cup of fractionated coconut oil. And the reason you want fractionated, it's a lighter texture. So it absorbs into the skin easily without leaving a greasy film. That's really important. Then very simple. All you're going to do is add 15 drops of melaleuca oil. And that is just the, the Latin name for that is just for is tea tree oil. Okay. 15 drops of lavender and 15 drops of frankincense and mix it up. It is so good for dry skin. It's, I love putting it on my legs and my heels and my elbows and my body. It smells delicious. Love it. And you just, now I like a mix of a medicine-y sweet smell. And that's exactly what this is. I love the smell of tea tree and lavender. It's just, I want to put some Vicks Vapor Rub up my nose. (laughs) (laughs) No, I do like some Vicks. I do like some, I like a better alternative to Vicks, but I love that. I love that smell. So that Miracle Cream works great for eczema too. Really good for eczema. And uh, try it. That one I have, I use a lot. This one, a lot of people are going to know about. The Mario Badescu, the drying lotion that everybody, you know, it's that little bottle that has the pink at the bottom and the oil at the top and you're not supposed to shake it. You just dip your Q-tip in and you have that one. So everybody knows what I'm talking about. I actually don't know what you're talking about. Okay. If you're in the skincare, if you love skincare, you know what I'm talking about. Excuse you. That was such a dig. I love skincare and I know about skincare. Oh my gosh. That was the second burn of the sesh. Yeah, but Ashley, there's a difference between you and me because I will go into Ulta and I, I'm like, like you'll go in there and you'll get the product and go out. Like, I'm like, what is this? What is it? Like, that's not true. I was just in Ulta for over an hour. I was with her with Penelope and I took pictures of this stuff and sent it to you. So that's another burn. You get no more burns. That's three burns. Mm-mm. All right. Anyway, so the reason why I do not care for that product, it has titanium dioxide in it. So here is a DIY way to do it yourself. Get some calamine lotion, okay, and do get, get like a two to three inch container. It's real small; it doesn't have to be a lot. So get some calamine lotion, and we'll put the recipe for this as well. And then do two parts tea tree oil or witch hazel, so an astringent. So do that one part water, and then calamine lotion. And then there you go. You kind of mix it together; it'll separate, and then you can do that. And it's a a lot better for you, but that works too. It's a nice zit zapper. Try that. So do your LED light and then put your do it yourself zit zapper on. That's really good. I thought it would be fun if we did a DIY this, fail. We both did this one because <laughs> I, my daughter even did it too. We both did this one. Oh yeah, Penelope came back in and she goes, "That didn't work, mommy." So what we're talking about, this is, I've seen this all over on Instagram and, and TikTok, and this one did not work. It was talking about get a bottle of pure vanilla extract and rub it all over your body. The next time you are and your children are playing in the yard, it's going to naturally repel bugs. We both tried it. I got bit right away. Oh, I got bit too. I think I attracted. I, <laughs> yeah. Penelope got bit. I mean, she came in, she was mad. I was mad too. Yeah. Cause I, I was like, I mean, we took it outside. I rubbed it all over her. I was like, not only does it smell good, it's going to repel the butt. Uh, uh-uh. uh, nope. I also have to tell you guys something. Don't be mad at me. They'll be mad. So when you listen to the TikTok one, I want you to be, so I did one of the things in the TikTok one. I've already recorded it, so I can't edit it out. But I did the add micellar wash for your dry hair. I don't feel like it worked as good. <gasps> That's so funny. I just did that this morning because I'm going to the chiropractor. <laughs> and so it didn't work. It's It's not as good as what they said it would be. Yeah, it's not as good as what they said. You know, so I wanted to be honest about that and let you know in the next show, I was all excited. And then after I was like, hey, I'm going to try this. And then I thought, wah, wah. No, because my hair is this. No, it's a fail. My hair is the same. That's a fail. So that was my TikTok fail. 
So no to the vanilla spraying all over her. And, and I'm, we're going to pass on the micellar wash in there. So anyway, but I do think that cornstarch is going to work. I'm really excited because that's going to soak everything up. No, that's going to work because I mean, it's going to soak it up and I, maybe we'll cut our meeting short so I can try it real quick. Anyways, speaking of the vanilla, you know, it smells so good and I love smelling good, but I have not been able to wear perfume because of the harsh chemicals in them, you know, is bad. So that's why we found a company called Pure Essences. And let me just tell you really quickly it about this perfume company is run. One of the things that Lindsay, I really appreciated is ran is a small business. It's just a one owner, small business, and it's run by a woman named Jody. And she is so passionate about her product and she's the one. And so she came up what the, the story behind the company was she came up, she designed her own scents. She's got three scents. And the one that she's known for is the boho scent. So what happened was she would constantly go out and about in her day and people would stop and ask her, what is that you're wearing? So she decided to create a company on it. Anyways, so I researched her company and her product and got all into it because I'm very, you know, particular about what you know, I wear and everything and the products is pretty impressive. They are certified clean. They're made in the USA. They're vegan and cruelty free. They're free from, and she's got it listed all over her site, parabens, sulfates, phylates, synthetic dyes, nitro and polycyclic musk, formaldehydes, coal, tar, oxybenzone, oh, hydroquinone, all this stuff. Her perfume is made up of a mixture of essential oils and a synthetic musk. And I like the musk smell, but the reason why it's a synthetic musk is because it's highly unethical and actually illegal to harvest musk from animals, but it is certified clean ingredients. So Lindsay and I, so she's known for her boho scent, which is a, is a really nice scent. My favorite and Lindsay's favorite too was the Moroccan and we both love to spray it on our clothes. If, I will say this. If you want to put it on your skin, it is certified clean. But with any new product, we always suggest that you do just a little touch, a test patch first. And of course, don't put it on your face. Okay. But she did another thing that Jody shared with me is that she said that people also use the oils to put in their diffusers to create an aromatherapy experience. I was like, oh, uh-huh. Isn't that cool? Oh, thank you for telling me that because I saw the oils. I haven't had a chance to research those. That makes sense. I was like, what are these for? Okay. So, so Lindsay tried out the perfume first before I did. Lindsay, tell them about your hilarious grocery store. All right. So I went to the post office to get the, actually told me their in. So I went to go um, and get them to the PO box. And by the way, I'm in charge of getting all the products from the PO box. And it's so annoying because Ashley gets a tracking number and she hounds me until I go get it at the post office um, <laughs> because the post office is closer to my house. So I'm like, Ashley, I'm not going to flip in PO box like every day of the week. I'll go one time and get all the boxes. And she's like, it's in, everything's in. <laughs> so annoying to me. Anyway, that's just that I just wanted to tell. I just wanted to share. I like that's not part of the funny story. I wanted to share the behind the scenes of what really goes on in sister land and having us having a business with your sister. I have to, this is my therapy. I have to get it out somehow. <laughs> so I go to the post office. <laughs> By the way, everybody loves me because when they respond in there, they like, they say, stop giving Ashley a, such a hard time. She's amazing. No, they don't. I'm just kidding. They don't say that. No, no they don't. <laughs> I love you too. You know, it's all fun and games. I'll be just playing. <laughs> anyway, I go to the PO box. And so I also like to open the packages pretty quickly because I like to see what's in there. And I, I was like, oh, I have always loved fragrances and perfumes, but haven't been able to use them unless they're a pure essential oil. So I was really, really excited to try these. So I sprayed it and I was in a rush that day because I was very limited on my time because I knew I had to go to Whole Foods right after. So I sprayed it, didn't really think anything of it and just raced to Whole Foods. Went to Whole Foods because I was getting some lemongrass for one of our chicken recipes that I was trying out. So I am looking for like, I don't know where the lemongrass is. This is a new recipe. I've actually never purchased lemongrass. So where is it? So I'm there for a little bit, like look around. And one of the guys that works at Whole Foods, I'm looking down at the produce or whatever. And he, <laughs> and he says, you doing good? 
That's what he said. And I was like, yeah, I'm doing good. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, whatever. I'm looking for my lemongrass. There was just this pause. You know what I'm saying? Like there was something there that I knew he wasn't done with me. And there was this pause. I'm like, what's going on? And then he said, (laughs) he said, he turned over to me. He goes, I don't know what you're wearing, but you smell amazing. (laughs) (laughs) I knew there was something more. And so I'm Chatty Kathy. So I look over, I go, oh, good. Because I just got these samples in the mail, picked them up from the post office. And I don't know. It's not like I'm like smelling myself all over the place. And I said, I didn't know if it smelled good or not. I just, I just, he goes, no, you smell good. (laughs) Of course, I couldn't wait to tell my husband too. But I, listen, I had a baseball hat on, no makeup. I'm in my workout gear. I am not at my best. And then the funny part is I went to go get some milk. So I went across the store to the milk section. Did you have a little helper? He came (laughs) back. He circled around and came back up to me at the milk section. And he goes, you still doing good? (laughs) And I said, yes, Jody, if that doesn't tell you something. So I told Jeff, I said, I got to really watch. That's why Jody created her own business. She's like, excuse y'all. I got some, I got the magic. If you're a single lady, you need to get some of this perfume and you need to spray this on. But I told Jeff, I got to watch, you know, I got to watch. So yeah. I got up, you know, funny. but anyway, that there's my, there's my, uh, pure essence, dirty stories, but it, I thought that was, it did make me feel good. I just had a baby y'all that did make me feel good. Yeah, of course. Anyway, that was our story. And thank you so much for listening to the show. Our DYI beauty show. Ashley, do not go anywhere. We do have a meeting after this. So you may not just go straight to your cornstarch dry shampoo, everything. So until next time, we cannot wait to share our healthy swap and then also listen to the TikTok hacks. There's some really good ones. I have tried several of those and they work except for that mineral oil one. No, not mineral oil. My cellar wash. My yeah, cellar, my water. cellar wash. We yeah, yeah. Try Don't that do one. that one. But all the other ones are, are pretty cool. Until next time, have a great week. <laughs>